Welcome to the Tazzy T channel. I'm your host, Tazzy T. Um, I've been busy. Been really busy. I've been planning my next trip, um, prospecting, researching, um, trying to organise all my gear and find some actual time to get it done. Um, ah. Cheers. That's a bug. Is this what we drink here in Tasmania? It's a man's drink. It's good. Um, I've also been building uh, another gearbox for the buggy. Um, my eight-year-old daughter wanted a project. She wanted to pull something apart. So no worries. We um, took the bottom end off the busted four-wheeler um, that I got for free. And in 45 minutes, she stripped the head off it, the barrel off it, all the timing gear off it. Um, what she couldn't undo with the socket set, she belted with the hammer till it came undone. It was very impressive to watch a little girl get into it. Um, yeah, she did an exceptional job, and it was a great lesson for her on how mechanical things work. So what we ended up with was the bottom end, three-speed with reverse. Centrifugal clutch in it, nothing wrong with that. It was holding oil, all the bearings were fine. Um, so what we've done is we've mounted it in the buggy. Here we go. That there is the gearbox. It's uh, adjusted with two bolts for chain tension. We've got chain drive going down to the rear sprocket. Chain drive going from the 420 engine to the input shaft of where the magneto was. And basically I welded up the crank. Um, I cut the conrod down and welded the crank on both sides so that it could basically, didn't have to make up an, another shaft to do the same job. Um, spun the crank around to where the weights were and um, welded that up as well. So it's solid as. Um, a couple of issues arose in fitting this thing. Firstly, the clearance between the gearbox and the head. There's not a lot of space there. There's, um, yeah, the light's piss poor, you won't see it, but there's about a centimetre of gap. So the way I've set it up is that this bolt here, you wind that back and it um, tensions both chains at once. The only other noise problem that we have, this thing's got pretty good tension on it, it's pretty good, but I need to make a slider up to sit in there so that when they flex, it doesn't slap about too much. Um, and having a chain whirring a foot behind your head is an exceptional noise that is just shocking. So I've got to make a cover up to go over here, sound deaden it all, um, and that'll keep the sound all minimum. Then I can put the tray back on here, and we're good to go. I've test driven it around the yard, um, and it absolutely worked a treat. I was dumbfounded at how well it worked. So I got rid of all my janky CVT setup, and um, yeah, it just works a treat. I'm so stoked with it. Um, and it was essentially free. It was just a little bit of time. So, uh, yeah, for all of you out there who've wanted to know if you can, you can. Um, and it works. It just works, and it's neat, and I'm stoked with it. Um, the shifter mechanism I made up, I don't know if you can see that in there. So your shifter... There's a bar going right through the chassis with a guide all the way up to my lever. So that works forward and back. Um, it's solid. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. So when I find some more time, we'll finish this project and I'll get some footage of it cutting sick around the paddock. Um, first gear was brilliant for towing up the hill. Um, second gear was a nice cruiser and third gear was an absolutely crack and overdrive was probably good for about 50 60 k's now which is not real fast it's fast enough for me um yeah absolutely thrilled with it so um i'm thinking it's beer o'clock and uh yeah cheers <laughs>